Most of what exists is invisible, hiding in the shadows, yet crucial for everything we see. This isn't science fiction, it's the reality of dark matter, a substance that doesn't emit light or energy, yet its presence is felt across the vastness of space. It's one of the biggest puzzles in the universe today. Dark matter is really weird because we can't see it. It doesn't shine like stars or reflect light like planets. It's completely invisible, but just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Scientists are sure it exists because of the gravitational effects it has on things we can see. For example, when astronomers look at galaxies, they notice that the stars at the edges of these galaxies are moving way faster than they should be. If it were just the visible matter, like stars and gas, these stars would fly off into space, but they don't. Something unseen, something powerful, is holding them in place. That's dark matter. So what is dark matter made of? Scientists have some guesses. They think it could be made of undiscovered particles that don't interact with light. These are totally different from the atoms that make up you, me, and everything we know. Every day, researchers around the world are using special detectors and telescopes to try and catch a glimpse of these mysterious particles. Who knows, maybe one day one of you watching this video will be the one to solve the dark matter mystery. Now you might be wondering how did scientists even come up with this idea of dark matter? Well, it all started with some very smart observations. Way back in the 1930s, a scientist named Fritz Zwicky noticed something odd about clusters of galaxies. Zwicky observed that these galaxies were moving in a way that just didn't add up if you only accounted for the visible matter. The galaxies were whizzing around it so fast that they should have broken away from the cluster, but they didn't. Something unseen was keeping them together. Fast forward a few decades and another brilliant astronomer, Vera Rubin, made a similar discovery. She was studying the rotation of galaxies and found that stars on the outskirts were orbiting just as fast as those near the center. According to the laws of physics, this shouldn't happen unless there was a lot more mass than what we could see. These discoveries were groundbreaking. They suggested that there's a lot more to a galaxy than meets the eye. In fact, it turns out that what we can see is just a tiny fraction of the total. Most of the mass in the universe is this invisible, mysterious substance, dark matter. So the evidence for dark matter comes from its gravitational pull. It's like feeling the wind without seeing it. We can't see dark matter, but we can see its effects everywhere in the universe. So we know dark matter is out there, but what exactly is it? One popular idea is that dark matter is made of WIMPs, or weakly interacting massive particles. These are particles that hardly interact with regular matter, making them incredibly hard to detect. Another theory suggests something called axions. These are super light particles, almost like ghostly particles that can be everywhere but remain hidden. But how do we find something that doesn't want to be found? Well, scientists are pretty clever. They've set up experiments all over the world to try to catch these elusive particles. One of the coolest places is deep underground. In places like the abandoned mines or under mountains, scientists have built labs to shield their experiments from cosmic rays and other interference. Here, they hope to directly detect dark matter particles as they pass through the Earth. One of these experiments is the Large Underground Xenon Experiment, or LUX. It uses a tank filled with liquid xenon to try and catch dark matter particles. The idea is that when a dark matter particle hits a xenon atom, it will give off a tiny flash of light. And then there's the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. This massive machine smashes particles together at incredible speeds, hoping to create dark matter particles in the process. These experiments are like cosmic detective work, with scientists piecing together clues about the nature of the universe. It's a tough job, but the answers they find could change our understanding of everything. So why is dark matter so important? Why do scientists spend so much time trying to understand something we can't even see? The answer lies in the fundamental role dark matter plays in shaping our universe. Firstly, dark matter is crucial for the formation of galaxies. Without dark matter, the universe as we know it would be drastically different. It acts like a cosmic glue, 
holding galaxies together. Without this glue, galaxies wouldn't have formed in the early universe. And it's not just about galaxy formation. Dark matter influences the structure of the entire universe. It forms a scaffold, a sort of cosmic web on which galaxies are built. This web shapes the large-scale structure of the universe, determining where galaxies form and how they move. Understanding dark matter also helps us in understanding more about the universe's history, its present, and its future. It's like a detective story where dark matter holds some key clues to the universe's mysteries. Moreover, the search for dark matter is also driving incredible technological advances right here on Earth. First up, let's talk about the deep underground laboratories, like the ones used in dark matter experiments. These labs are marvels of engineering, located far beneath the Earth's surface. Here, scientists are shielded from cosmic rays and other forms of interference, creating an ultra-pure environment to detect the faintest signals. In these labs, researchers use some of the most sensitive detectors ever made. Take, for example, the cryogenic detectors, these devices are cooled to temperatures near absolute zero to reduce noise from thermal energy. This extreme cooling allows them to possibly pick up the slightest interactions between dark matter and normal matter. Then there's the advancement in data analysis and computing. The hunt for dark matter generates massive amounts of data. Processing and analyzing this data requires powerful computers and sophisticated algorithms. This has pushed the development of new techniques in data science and machine learning. These technological innovations have applications beyond astrophysics. For instance, the ultra-sensitive detectors can be used in medical imaging, improving diagnostics and treatment, and the advances in data processing are benefiting industries from finance to healthcare. Moreover, the quest for dark matter encourages collaboration across countries and disciplines. It brings together physicists, engineers, computer scientists, and more, fostering an environment of innovation and cross-pollination of ideas. So while the primary goal is to unravel the mysteries of dark matter, the journey is also about pushing the boundaries of technology and collaboration. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.